Oh, what's this? So that's sage and onion, and that one's fig and walnut. This is the Cajun spiced cracker. Oh, I might have that with that. But I do it. like I do mix my spices. So it's a range of courses. Here at the Living North Go Christmas online, Fair in Kingston Park, Andy is selling fresh on, bread and advertising bread making bread workshops to promote the Big River Bakery. Bakery and training school in Shieldfield. Do you know Shieldfield? Do you know the Oosburn? Do you know the Oosburn? No. It's right next to Northumbria Uni. Right. Andy's Big River Bakery here in Shieldfield is set to officially open by the end of 2019, but it isn't just another patisserie on a street corner. He hopes to create a fairer food system by working closely with the local community. Yep. Yeah. Large guys, they are. Big River Bakery. <laughs> so what's it about? How to explain that? There's a willow wand. And that's the logo of the Big River Bakery, and it re represents, a, it's a pentagram, so it's earth, water, fire, air, and spirit. Those five things are needed for a good bakery. Andy delivers training and opportunities to people who face employability barriers. Because it is all about the people, really, um, and the impact we can have socially in this community and more widely across the city and, and demonstrate something that could grow beyond. So we work with uh, lots of volunteers and help people move forward in their lives. And specific groups that we've worked with are autistic, yeah. uh, long-term unemployed mm -hmm. um, and ex-offenders. He is currently working with around 10 volunteers and one of the newer recruits, Alison, describes her involvement with the Big River Bakery. This morning we are, uh, Nick's already mixed the dough and mm -hmm. then it gets left to put and bulk ferment so that you get lots of air and texture right. in the bread. Mm -hmm. And then what we've just done is we've just scaled it mm -hmm. to the size of the loaf that we want and shape them into rounds, which is what we uh -huh. do before we put it into the final shape. Andy targets the bakery's social remit by working with local volunteers, but he also emphasizes the importance of environmental sustainability. I want the North East to demonstrate that there is a more sustainable way with food than local food that's more equitable, mm -hmm. affordable to everyone, and yet yeah, environmentally low impact. So to do that at scale, we need to replicate the bakery and expand the idea beyond the bakery into other foods. Big River Bakery grows the sustainable wheat used in their produce on farmland across the northeast. One of these plots is at the local cemetery near West Jesmond Primary School. The school's lead of raising aspirations, Lucy Odes, is on site to discuss the long-standing collaboration with Andy. Andy, um, very kindly for the last couple of years, has come in to help support us in school, making naan breads with our year two children mm -hmm. to link with a different curriculum area. And while he was in, uh, we got together and uh, as my role in school in terms of raising aspirations and um, enterprise and community, we thought it would be nice to get together and see a whole project through from start to finish. We hear from two Year 5 pupils at West Jesmond Primary School who have taken part in Andy's workshops and wheat planting project. Katie, you did the naan, bre the naan bread making, yeah? yeah? Tell me a little bit about that. Was it fun? What did you get up to? What did you do on that day? Um, we were learning about India, uh, so we um, we were learning about like what they ate. So we had to make the naan bread. I think you got to eat it at the end, didn't you? Yeah. Was it tasty? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to do something like that again? Maybe make some more bread. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Ava, hey. coming to you now. So both of you actually are going to be helping with the wheat planting aren't you um tell me a bit about how you're going to help out Ava um well my mum owns the flower folk um so she's a florist and she does plant a few plants um like in our garden and stuff so she knows a few things about planting and stuff mm -hmm. um, so you're so going to She's going to help out as well as you, yeah? yeah. How are you, are you two going to get involved? Are you guys going to plant So the pupils well? at West Jesmond seem to enjoy their workshops with Andy's Big River Bakery, but what does the future hold for this partnership? Hopefully we end up with wheat. <laughs> uh, hopefully behind us there'll be wheat standing tall. Um, and hopefully it's something that, you know, it's going to be a longer process. It's going to take a year probably from planting the wheat to actually milling and harvesting it and, and making the bread. But hopefully it's something that we could just keep on doing.
as well as collaborating with local schools to promote environmental sustainability. And he also works closely with other community projects that have positive social impacts on young people around the North East. We've worked with Andy for the last few years and he's been helping our young men to learn um, baking skills and, and catering skills. It's really important for young men that we work with who um, may not have been to school, um, they may have missed out on um, their education which means it's a struggle for them to kind of get into meaningful employment and he's been teaching them a whole set of skills that are relevant to workplace and relevant to employability as well as teaching them some key skills around cooking and confidence around food which is really important. It's not about just the bread making, it's about doing something together and learning together and as a project, we love to eat together. It's such a, it breaks down so many barriers. But when the young men have produced it themselves, it's just, it's just so much better. But what we want to do is for them to be able to take some of those skills, take them home, do cake making, do bread making with their children. The organisation offers support to young men who have recently become fathers. One teenager, Jordan, shares how the Big River Bakery and the Young Lads and Dads project has impacted his life. Well, it's, it's helped like with carpentry skills, like when you're building the hives, because you, you're working with the wood and you're making things, and it's, you're working as a team. So it's, it's good for teamwork, and if you wanted like a normal job, it, it prepares you for that. I'm hoping it turns into like a full-time job, and some of us get paid for doing the work, so like we get like loads of hives, and we're just full-time business. Although local businesses like Big River Bakery are thriving around Newcastle, they still face competition from multinational food companies. But instead of competing with these distributors, Andy hopes that they will replicate his fairer food system on a national scale. With any luck, they will rise to the challenge.